sad. I, I really love that uh, the Ape and Man face we call Ape and Mad. I'm sorry. Ape and Mad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with that. Um, anyway, so I have a lot of experience watching Ape Man play. We're both from South Florida. Um, now meeting again in MDBA for some reason. <laughs> Don't ask questions, man. Just yeah. enjoy the moment. I'm actually not even sure why he's here. But. <laughs> well, you know, we actually had a healthy amount of Florida representation at the last glitch, last glitch which yeah. is really cool. Because uh, fights were dirt cheap. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. well we're, glad, we're glad to have you here, man. But you know what's not going to be cheap? Getting this win over Puppe, man. Again, I said he's one of our MDBA's pride and joy, you know, for a reason. This kid is just sensational. The only thing I would say with Puppe is sometimes he doesn't adapt as much as I would like. You know what I mean? He's very... You know, straightforward what he does, but what he does is just so well on the execution side of things that it gets quite far. Well, I will say that Ape Man does have quite a bit of experience with this matchup. Sure. Florida, we have a ton of sheep players and a ton of very good sheep players. Um, so it's not a matchup where he's going to be unfamiliar with. Right. But, um, on the other side, Puppet, being from MDVA, also has a little bit of Rob experience, which is not something that everybody can say. I mean, Mr. Eric, you know, back in, you know, Mr. Eric before he left, I guess, Tantalus to a certain extent, but you know what? Uh, either way, whatever he's cooking with, it's working right now. Now, Wadi actually plays a little bit of Rob, too, and they're from around the same area, so that could be a factor in this as well, but nicely yeah, done, wow. man. Wasting no time getting right back at this match. I Not going to allow it. Pepe to build any kind of lead against I him. I love you saw Pepe's face. He's like, why did that kill me? <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. But yeah, that's the life you live when you play Sheik against this character, man. Being a fastballer, I mean, you're a very light character. Kind of got to hold that sometimes. Right. Okay. Interesting. Great gyro play here from Pepe. Using it against him. And Rob, you know, obviously gyro being such a huge part of his neutral when it's used against him. Really just stifles a lot of things he's trying to get started here. It's really, it's honestly kind of... Um, it's kind of dangerous to use uh, Rob's gyro against him because, you know, as soon as it disappears, if he shields it, as soon as he disappears, you can pull out another one. Right. The best thing you can do against the gyro is throw it upwards because it stays there in the sky forever, and that just leaves Rob, you know, without a neutral tool. So let's see if uh, Puppe catches on to that or no, he's going to throw it off the stage. Okay. For that bounce of fish right here, getting back to the stage safely. Up smash, that is like his, I think that's his favorite way to just end a match or just get some high damage is with that up smash. Sometimes it can be a little costly though, depending on when you like, let's throw it out. Gotta be careful of your percent here, Rob, able to take out Sheik pretty easily. Yeah. Oh, oh and the up smash, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Doesn't matter what state this man is, he'll still just throw out up smash anytime. Bro, I've watched Ape and Man play, like I said, for, whoa, that was a glitch. Save 10% off with promo code GLITCH right in the middle of this match. But yeah, yeah, I've watched Ape Man do this for years. He's not a stranger of just throwing out of Smash when he feels like hitting someone with a no Smash. Well, it's interesting. He, I guess he just recognized that Puppet was just going to be floating over him, you know, towards that right side, or jumping over him, I should say. And he's just like, you know what? I, I believe in my range. He came up big. Yeah, it's it's a very, very big hitbox, uh, both vertically and horizontally, so I don't really blame him. The intensity right now on my man 8 that, that's, you, that's how you know, man. I don't care if a kid is 12 years old. You have to know these young guns can bring it to you. You gotta respect him. Yeah, I think, like I said, A-Man knows he's been there once, so he's not even gonna go, he's not gonna go easy on this kid at all. Uh, Puppet, on the other hand, I'm sure, uh, you know, there's no reason to even go easy on him. This man has quite a bit of experience playing. Oh, of course. Puppet is a phenomenal player. He has wins over some of the best people in our region, and for good reason. Well, he's not neutral to get behind him. Okay, right, goes for the dash attack. They're not gonna connect. Just back it up, nice. I like what Ape Man was doing right there, kind of baiting him in. And I think the worst thing about Gyro is it's actually surprisingly hard to just pick up uh, while it's spinning on the ground. Sometimes you just get hit. Yeah. Okay, good connection right there. Gonna be alright though. Oh, that Puppet just getting uh -oh. And that's what I'm talking about right there. It's those up smashes goes for sometimes that can be very costly. And right there, he put himself in a position where he potentially could have been the end of the stock. Thanks. That should covers. be enough. It is. All right. Yeah, probably did a great, great job. Not like Ape Man land on the ground. Uh, Ape Man taking so much damage. Just uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Not feeling confident. But <laughs> wow. And that's hey, he'll take that trade, man. Just keep him off stage, keep racking up that damage. Now that fall behind. Oh my goodness. But it doesn't matter because wow. probably got the tech anyway. He got the tech yeah, anyway, so he would have been fine. He got the tech for good measure. That's adding insult to injury. You know, try to take me down with you. I don't, <laughs> I don't even care, man. Those arms were just. Those arms were flailing too. <laughs> Also, shout out to uh, Controller Chaos. Save 10% with promo code GLITCH. <laughs> it's got to be a little frustrating for Ape Man. Uh, you know, kind of a way to, to go out in the second game after such a strong first game. Well, Pope doing in that game what I, I had been a little critical of, of him uh, in recent tournaments I've seen him compete in about, you know, not really adapting, but 
I feel like he did a great job in that match. Really played well around the gyro and just kept the pressure. Uh, he started that match from 0 to 100, man. I feel like he finished it at 120, in fact. <laughs> man was just zooming. And Nate Bitman not able to come up with any stops there. So we'll see where he uh, decides to go for game three. Looks like he's consolidating his playlist right now. Perhaps some notes, not really sure. Wow, this is That's that deep breathing, man. That, oh, ain't, that ain't we fit either. You know what he's thinking about? Uh, he does have a pocket, Diddy Kong. And he has been trying to play Diddy Kong a little bit more to have, you know, a secondary character to play against bad matchups. Like, really? okay. Sheik is probably not a great matchup for Rob, honestly. Um, I don't know. I guess he's going to stay with Rob. The tried I, and true. I think he should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I think it's just more of a stage thing right there. You know, I think Sheik, uh, you know, one of the characters that excels on Smashville. And, you know, he kind of got that first game. But, you know, obviously the second game not going to – not going his way too well. But we'll see what, here, what he can do. Duck Hunt. Is the counter pick. It's a cool stage. Give himself plenty of room to work with. Yeah, this is uh, kind of a classic Ape Man counter pick. If you uh, are from Soft Lord, I'm sure you have a lot of experience with this character and the stage if you play him. I'm not sure how well Puppet is going to. Uh, how well he knows the stage or how well he plays on the stage. Um, well, I mean. You know, we have. I mean, this stage is very much legal at Xanadu. A lot of our locals in NBA period. So Puppet is not unfamiliar with it by any means. As he's really demonstrating right now, off to a pretty strong start here. Kind of just hurting Ape Man back to the center of that stage right now. Gotta be careful that gyro. Gotta respect. It. Ooh, sitting on the ground a little too long right there. It's free damage for Ape Man. He will certainly take it here in this game three. Okay. Oh, I love the gyro play. Had enough time to actually charge. What a connection right there. This yeah. man definitely looking like the plug. Yeah, this man, uh, he has so much experience with this character. You know, he played Rob in Brawl also from day one, so <laughs> he's pretty much Rob himself. Oh, right. Gotta be careful those uh, up smashes there, Puppy. No, I mean, it was it was a and good attempt. That, uh, of course, the up smash does have invincibility on the hand, so if a man misspaced that in there a little bit, he would have got caught. And that's the third time he's going for it there. Not, still not connecting anything. Yeah, that's just one of those situations where you just you really want to get that stock off. Can't blame him. I do love how aggressive the puppet is. You know, even when he's not looking for a stock, he just seems like a very aggressive Sheik in general. And that's kind of how you have to play against Rob. Don't give him the space to pull out those, those gyros right. and, uh, you know, hold on to the neutral game. All right, so Bus Fighter's counter pick has been working out for 8-Bit Man here. A good job of uh, being quite elusive after taking that first stock, honestly. They're trying to swing in here and gonna throw the gyro up this time. Okay. Yeah, it's frustrating because the stage is pretty big. Uh, Rob's pretty heavy, and when you're trying to get that stock off, it can be really frustrating to try and catch him. Right. Left himself a little bit open there. Puppet capitalizing with the bounce fish, but still not enough to get it. 183. That is the benefit of a you know a long stage like this. Yep. And every percent that Ape Man gets here is just really, really good for him. Even gonna survive from that dash attack at over 100 G percent. Huh? Trade needles with gyros. These trades are uh, not too good for Puppe right now. That percent building and building, but finally the four there is going to be enough. Puppe in control of the gyro, charging up those needles, ready to go here to try and make mount this comeback. Yeah, he's not too far off. I mean, she's really, really good at racking up damage, low percents, but you cannot get. <laughs> and just sits back in his seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Rob roller coaster, man. IRL. <laughs> yeah, you really, uh, Puppe really, really can't get grabbed here because a uh, down throw up here. Yeah, she's going to air dodge read with connect, and uh, that's going to be on his stock. Okay. It's really, it's really nice. scary because Rob's grab is just really, really good, too. <laughs> this this, this got to be the scariest percent right here for Puppe to be at. Okay. He is still fighting very hard. Yeah, he's still being very, very aggressive, even in the situation where most players would maybe start being a little bit more defensive. Okay. <laughs> Sniper, we call him. Uh-oh. Nice. One high. Oh, my God. That oh bounce of fish. Oh, my gosh. And look at this. Puppet has already brought this one back. Oh, that angle of up smash. That was insane. I wasn't sure if he was going to swipe that or not. Yeah. I just off the trajectory I didn't even know there hit. was an angle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going for that attack. Oh, oh he's he down. And he pops off. And, and he, he gets rightfully the deserved. Wow, what a read. Reads the roll towards the edge. He, never, he didn't even stop. He just kept running full speed ahead. Well, he was running in the game, and Puppe just ran out the door, man. That's a hard <laughs> one to take. That's a hard one to take, man. <laughs> he actually didn't run out the door. <laughs> hey, uh, you're going to make a great dad, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the man has showing no, no – <laughs> he 
this new character. <laughs> I said, you're going to make a great dad. He said, I don't care, man. My goodness. <laughs> he just def- 